Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio, where I am joined by Nog. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You have returned. You are up there in your... Uh, surrounded by robots. Yes. Oh my word, what's he doing? I'm that's deconstructing. Weird. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that, that's, that's probably a good thing, because I don't know if you have had the power uh, grid overlay on when you show the map up, but... No. My God, the cabling. The cabling. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Um, uh, I'm coming down to the nuclear reactor because I've just discovered something. Um, What's that? Uh, we, we're low on power. Oh. Again? Yeah. Yep. And I know why. why? I was looking at it on the map just a moment ago and I realised why. <gasps> you see these inserters that are supposed to be taking out the empty nuclear stuff? Let's have a look. Down here, yep. Yeah, well, well, would you notice it's wrong with the inserters that's supposed to be taking out the empty nuclear rods? Um, Fuel cells. There aren't any. Oh, there are. They're just facing the wrong direction. Oh, 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 yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so one side of the reactors will drop down. Um, that's a problem. And uh, we're running. And I was like, why is the power dead? What's going on here? I don't know. How yeah. strange. Right, there we go. So that's that's now going to hopefully uh, fix our problem. There. Uh, one thing that I will do whilst I'm down here as well is... Um, something that, that Pete pointed out again. So th thank you very much, Pete, for constantly letting us know that we're... Uh, well, not that not, not we're doing things wrong, constantly pointing things out because we keep making mistakes on them. Um, oh, not really mistakes. What am I saying here? Uh, pointers, giving us pointers. That's, that's a good, uh, that's a good word. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that way, yeah. Um, now I'm pushing all the steam into one uh, storage tank and then pushing it out the storage tank into uh, 30 turbines. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I should do each each run of because uh, I'm doing I'm doing two lots two sets of heat exchangers into one tank and then that one tank into two sets of that so I've got a bottleneck in the center. Maybe I should just run it on the pipes, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for now and see what happens when our power demand actually gets ridiculously high. Okay, sounds reasonable. Because right now our demand has dropped. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong. That's the passage. Uh, yeah, right now our demand's pretty good. Our demand's pretty low. Mainly because we've got so many beacons around. That... Yeah. The last beacons aren't actually doing anything, are they? <laughs> uh, no, not really. Uh, they aren't doing anything right now. Uh, no. Well, some of them are, but not a whole lot. <laughs> Yeah. But uh you're you're going. Okay. So we've got plenty of you in there. You you're you're good. I finally so things, oh, <laughs> things go, are good. go ahead. That's no, right, sorry, things oh I was just talk, talking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I finally uh checked out uh the factorial calculator. And uh, yeah, uh, we do not need as much as I had uh, set up. Well, we, we, we may need it, but not in the way that I had set it up. So we're gonna set it up a little bit differently here. So here we have copper cable. And we basically need one and a half copper cable machine for each one green circuit machine. And that will produce 900 green circuits a minute. So, yeah. Uh, so we'll set up two. Suppose we could set up. Cause, ah, crap, that doesn't work. Let me just adjust this. Uh, hmm. Uh, so, if we 
have blue belts, the fastest ones, then we can do one blue belt with 1.4 of the yellow uh, inserters, the fastest inserter uh, assemblers. So that means we need two of them. Right. Then we'll do one green circuit uh, yeah. thing. Uh, one green circuit machine, and that will actually build 800 green circuits a minute. All the robots coming and bringing the uranium down, it's great. Something uh, like that. Um, so you're going out. I'm going to fill that chest up with thousand. We need a there. So we're getting copper in. And the copper I'm, line. I'm, I'm, can actually do two of these setups, which is fine. So there, and I think if I place that down there and, and make this do, this comes in here and spits out green circuits. It's okay. Oops, things are getting attacked. Yeah, it, it's down where we started to clear out for uh, for the new iron uh, deposit. Ah, right. yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot down there. There's nothing there. Uh, we didn't there was really something I was going to do, and I've forgotten. So we we'll have copper coming in there. Ah, ah you, you're you. not pretty. So. Oh damn it! Uh, did we do that? No. Uh, copper cable no, coming stop. out. Copper cable coming out. Stop. We'll have copper cable going in, and green circuits going out. That's fine. Uh, now we need iron in here, which means. So you take apart the salmon. Just get. Uranium out of it. Do uh, there, there, there. And that. That's just uh, for now. There was something I wanted to do here, and I can't remember what it is. Was it nuclear fuel? No, it wasn't. Oh, I, I, I think I, I'll have to. We'll get rid of this for a minute. I think I, I'm, I'm. Pete said something about doing things with uh, the atomic bomb, but we haven't actually researched it yet, so I don't think I can do the bits I was thinking of. No, we haven't uh, researched the atomic bomb yet. So that, that's not going to be possible right now, anyway. No, no, because we're not really doing any research at all, are we? No, none whatsoever. Okay. So, in that case, I'm going to go up and uh, carry on with the artillery stuff. Actually, um, it makes people just jump on that train. That's far enough. Can we do this? So, so what I'm trying to do here is we have copper coming in here to these two copper cable machines, which will spit copper cable out there. This green circuit machine will gobble it up. But it will only 
gobble up most of it, you might say. Now, the copper... We need, oh, we need one full belt of... Uh, I love that you're surrounding everything with beacons, yet we have nothing to go in the beacons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we might as well be prepared, right? <laughs> We might as well be prepared. So we, we, we need to be prepared for beacons being a thing. Because else we just have to rebuild it all again. That that that's that's yes, yeah, I I, I get where you're coming from there and Yeah. So, I just feel as if the beacons overcomplicate so much stuff. They do, don't they? Uh, they really do. Uh, so, but I want them. I want them because that's what the pros do. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> oh, well, well I'll, I'll avoid them, not the plague then. <laughs> <laughs> so, one full. Okay, so this setup will bring spit out one full belt of. Uh, copper cable from these two and no steel we'll spit out 0 0.4 belt of green circuits which means that we can stick it green circuits on the other side of the belt as well as have more or less a full belt uh, and the copper plate can feed another full belt of copper okay, so cable <clears throat> why am I not getting any steel uh I think we might need some more iron trains. Uh, maybe. Uh, I did try to fix up the iron train stuff. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I, I just think we might actually need more trains. Yeah. That might be the problem. Uh, but the trains are s just sitting there. But there isn't one waiting. So yeah, we might need more trains. That's true. Why are the trains just sat waiting? Well, uh, the the trains down at the iron is they're they're not full. No, I mean the trains are dropping off. Oh, the I have no idea. A time part. Hmm. Uh, drop off there. I don't. I don't. I don't want a time pass. Inactivity. Uh, I drop off there. There's a train going down right now with iron ore in it. Well, we're full on iron. Wait, that's why. Uh, right. So, but but then why aren't they dropping off for steel instead? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm, I'm just changing them up so they've got um, either empty cargo or. Five seconds of inactivity. Mm -hmm. Because they were just set to empty cargo and they were obviously coming in, stopping, and not doing a great deal. Which yep. is not ideal. No. Uh, I'm still down there. You've got it. You've got it. So. So, anyway, down here with the circuits. If we want to be super efficient, then we need. A splitter. Not wow. having activity. Down here, for instance. Okay. Three. And Number four. I, I, I really wish I was a train manager. Oh, there is. 
There is. Trains, uh, second to the right. In your uh, top right corner. Second icon to the right. Okay, yeah, that's... Ah, but it doesn't... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so there is a... Kind of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I'm, I'm just looking... At, I, I wanted one where I could just go... I want to, like, I, rather than having the grid, I want a list that shows what stops are on and stuff like that, so yeah. I know what's going to work. But, Makes sense to me. But, oh. but there we go. So now all our trains, now if they get five That's seconds of inactivity, they now move on. Which should mean that if they end up in a situation like this and just don't start don't don't start emptying, they'll, uh, they'll carry on. I think I'll quickly copy this. And move it down a bit. Something like should probably that. do. And then I'll leave that. Is that? Okay. I don't know whether we have any uh, uh, fast inserters in the in this because I, I the I'm steel sure system. I Fast inserters, using fast inserters, uh, using stack inserters, sorry. Mm -hmm. We should have, because uh, uh, maybe not that many, but we should have some. Because we are we are producing everything. We're producing uh, green circuits, red circuits, processing units. So so there should be some. I just don't know if uh, my steel drop-off is... Uh... Fast enough? Well, not fast enough. I, I, I've got it so that I've got stack inserters exporting into chests, and then the chests exporting onto belts mm -hmm. via normal fast inserters. I, I think it's working because obviously the stack inserters empty the train quick enough. Yeah. Maybe we should just double this up. So I think that might not be a bad idea. We're getting these in here, and they're coming out there. What if I we want them to go back here and onto oh. something? So remote things. Oh, I, I, I had a look through some of the mods um, mm -hmm. that this uh, game has to offer, and uh, there is a, a mod that basically you, it removes your player, and you uh, you. You start in a robot port, and you have to do everything like via the map screen. Okay. So it turns into like a real-time strategy game. Oh, that seems pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I quite like the idea. I keep pushing the wrong button. Keep pushing the escape. Don't want to be doing that. Let's build this. All right. So. We need the copper cable, which ends here, to no. come up and in there, because, well, the, the cop, not the copper cable, the copper plate, uh, the copper plate, we need to come up and in there, the copper plate ends here, so if we... Do this. Actually, let's do this. Then it can come over. Okay, that's not. In the way I expect. Go in there. Because we only need half a belt of copper plate for this. So, and now we have two of them, which means we need one full belt of copper plate, which is fine. Then we need the uh, the copper cables actually don't need to go further than here. Let's remove these. 
because it takes yeah, one nice. full belt of copper cables. So that's all good. Right, okay. And this needs to go. Uh, and then we have the output of green circuits. No. So. So, right, what I want to do down here. here. Oh, so to, how, many, how many artillery shells do you reckon we need a minute? Uh, quite a few, actually. Quite a few. I, I'd say... Like... Ten a minute? Ten a minute? Okay, uh... <clears throat> 12, I'll go with 12. Go with 12 minutes. Sure. Because I, I am also using that petrol. I did try to figure this out in my head going down there, and I figured out all based on one factory, one uh, one of these producing, one of the uh, Mark three factories producing artillery shells. Mm -hmm. uh, which would be great and all, but you get one shell every 15 seconds. That's four a minute. And I'm like, that's not going to be enough, is it? <laughs> no. It's really so, not. So, if we're going to say... Uh... Okay, so this is the green circuit output. We can... Get that in here. And we need explosives, radar. Tidbit. So, uh, we'll have a belt go through the middle there. Okay, we'll just send it over here way. then. And then we'll do. Uh, well, I might need two belts coming through the center. All right. And then these two will. Come together. Will I? Uh... Iron doesn't go, need to go further. And there. Let's do this different. Do this different from the start. Don't wanna. That's a full, more or less, oh. a zero point eight of a belt of green circuits and let's blueprint that green circuit uh, and I have blueprints called uh, real green circuits, uh, big green circuits, uh, true green, green circuits. So we'll <laughs> <laughs> all, all the green circuits. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think I'll call this one uh, yay. Let's call it yay. Yay. Yeah. Yay green circuit. Yep, exactly. And we will make four of these. There. How many do you need? One of each? Is that what you need? Maybe eight explosives, four shells, and one radar. Hey. Explosives can have their own light. Right. Now, to see if this works, we need to turn this. I'm going to turn your strange four way thing. Uh, where, where we had the old uh, power thing into a train station, okay? The, yeah, yeah, that, that that is kind of the reason I left them there because I thought they could be stops for sticking trains in places. Oh, okay. I, did, I obviously didn't think you'd, you'd build up there, but I just uh, I was thinking, yeah, you know, if we need to manually tell a train to get out of the way, it can go up there out of the way. Yeah. Uh, but that work? Yeah. I'll turn it into train stations for uh, for the green circuit uh, build. Okay, okay, so, let's 
So what do I need? What do I need? Uh, do I mean that we need to change this over there? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, Go over here. And let's see. So explosives come straight down their own line anyway. Actually, so they can be straight up. Can I craft some storage chests? I can. Oh. Uh, I don't want to craft a you know. If this should be enough, right? And then I just need uh oh try it. Uh I need one doing those explosive cannon shells. And then we can hopefully see that's in all right, so we'll do that. All yeah. these. So How many of these would I need? I don't want all your stuff. Aren't they just gonna stick it in there? I thought they would just stick it in the storage chest. Uh, Go. How many artillery shells do we need? Uh, oh. I think we need quite a few. Uh, sorry, explosive cannon shells as well. Sorry, uh, I need four every 15 seconds. So I need four, eight, 12. I need 16 every 15 seconds. How long do they take to craft and what are they? They take eight seconds to craft. They would, wouldn't they? Not seven and a half seconds, no, they take eight. <laughs> <laughs> so that means they make one every eight seconds, which is two every 16 seconds. So I need two for one. That's four. Just stick it in the storage chest, damn it. Stop trying to give it to me. I don't want it. <laughs> right, and then I want to belt down the center. I've no idea if, if I'm supposed to be using these fast belts or not, but I am. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Man, this is Robert Chaos! <laughs> To build some some rails, some some stops. Um, oh, we kind of wanna want them to come in down here, up here, I think, and out down there. So what I'll do is hey. out like this. We're gonna need another. Actually, we need some. There? Need some parking spots. Built down there. Okay. Wait, do I have a real parking spot blueprint? The bites are getting more and more. Uh, oh, they're getting aggressive. Yeah. Probably not. Okay. So you want to put all them onto that side of it, which would be fine. And then I want to do a splitter here. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll do the stop straight. Uh, 
여러분 얼른감 They don't need to be that far apart. Go away, robots. I don't want your crap. <laughs> They're like, oh, but you, you, you requested it, honest. I didn't, though. We're just doing our job. Come on, don't be like that. This will work. Uh, let's do four stops. Uh, or drop offs. Oh, four waiting areas. Like that. And they need to turn into. Two drop offs. Okay, and that should work. So we get all that plastic coming in. All that steel coming in, it's not coming in at all because we still don't have any steel. Why don't we have any steel? Oh, these are running. Okay, finally. The, uh, the, the production plants are getting going. Oh, that's good. Man. you in there we have run out of time for this episode we're gonna have to we have already we have i'm afraid yeah oh it's quick oh, they look at me. Oh, they're not going to go on you oh they are there we go. Go on you. every time i drop something off i just get new stuff that's insane <laughs> Take it away! Don't give it to me! Don't! What? Go away! Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've been fighting for the robot. <laughs> it's insane! You, you know, if you turn, off, you turn off your robot port, then they won't give it to you. Oh, that's true. Or will they? <laughs> They'll, they'll give whatever's on the current way, and then after that, they'll stop. Where the hell are beacons? They are. Oh, I did not want to make one. Right. Uh, oh, we, we, we better, I guess we better call it. Yes, yep, and we shall come back next time and uh, carry on. So, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. And beware of the robots. Bye-bye.